Thank you for joining us on Pray TV today. We really do appreciate that you have been willing to come alongside of us, that we will pray together. We are going to seek God earnestly, honestly. I'm going to read a verse of scripture today that's taken from Luke 17. The actual focus of the verse is simply where the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. But I want to give it to you in the context that it's really set in. And I want for us to be able to look and examine what was going on before this so that we have an understanding why they were kind of befuddled, perhaps, asking, Lord, increase our faith. This is what he was saying in, in context. If your brother or your sister sin against you, rebuke them. And if they repent, forgive them even if they have sinned against you seven times in a day, and seven times they come back to you saying, I repent, you must forgive them. You know, this is where the disciples then said, Lord, increase our faith. We know that it's very difficult to forgive habitual sins patterns of sins. We become jaded in our soul. We find ourselves looking and judging and finding it difficult to get past that continuity of transgression that makes us full of either fear or mistrust or unbelief. But they said, Lord, increase our faith. And it does take that because throughout life, We know that we human beings, we fail, and we fail repeatedly. You know, if you look at Martin Luther and his comment, he says, we sin and thought, word, and deed daily. Now, God, he has paid for all of those sins. He has forgiven us. And he marks it down in his book, and he sends our sins into the sea of his forgetfulness, his deliberate, intentional choosing not to remember. Because God, he knows all. But there's a choosing of not to remember. And that, I believe, is what God is really inviting us into and what we need to really pray about today. So Holy Spirit, as we come before you and we read this just again, the apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. Father, we pray, Lord, increase our faith. Increase our confidence in you that you are at work in all of your people. People who repent are the people that you're looking for. People who are genuinely sorry for their sins. And so, Father, we thank you that you are working that grace in us. But Lord, we're being transformed as we come before you. And the humbling, Lord, that it takes to be able to come not only before you and repent, but to our brothers and to our sisters that we have offended with our sinful choices and to be able to really, truly repent. Father, we thank you that there is a learning curve with this. We will not continue to sin if we continue to face our sin and repent. I can speak to that honestly. I can speak to that sincerely because I know how faithful God has been with my life. And I know how faithful God is with anyone who will keep coming. And the issue here for each and every one of us is to keep coming. So, we ask for your grace, Lord. We pray that you will give us grace to cover our sins. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will give us grace to be a dispenser of your forgiveness by being men and women who are willing, even if people have sinned against us repeatedly, and we come and we understand Your grace is unlimited. Fill us with that kind of grace for others. 
In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. I just want to share with you this one thing, that my wife and I are going to be taking uh, just a little bit of a break over the Memorial Day weekend, and we'll be back on the Tuesday following Memorial Day. So look for you there. God bless you. Thanks for being with us on Pray TV.